All right, you guys, let's get going. So uh, I want to pivot for a second here and uh, and give you guys some time to make sure uh, we're we're making progress on our uh, surveys. And so um, this link, uh, I'll have a module turned on uh, this weekend for you, but I just wanted to send this link and make sure everything is working. Um, and so uh, let me just explain what this is. So this is our communal data sheet. It's our communal data sheet. Um, and again, following our best practice, what you guys will do is, is you know, make your own copy of this, okay? So either if you're, if you're a Google Drive person, duplicate it and move it into your, uh, into your drive and then delete the copy you made in our, in our thing, right? Or my preference, my strong suggestion is actually download this as an Excel file and keep it on your desktop. And then that way it, it just, uh, that seems to work better for most people. Regardless, you're gonna have your own copy, right? You're gonna have your own copy. <coughs> Excuse me, and that's your master copy. Because almost every year somebody's gonna accidentally overwrite or, or whatever. And you know, if that happens and I'm doing this assessment of, hey, did you guys enter your stuff? and yours isn't there, and you get a zero, and you're like, well, Dr. Ray, I did it. I'm like, well, it's not here. You can just go grab it and just paste it right back in, and it's super simple. The other reason to do that, to do your, the majority of your data entering not in this, is just because with all you guys on here, it'll, it'll get super, super slow. So Google, a Google Sheet like this is great if you and I are collaborating, or you and your bud and I are collaborating or something. With more than like five, six, seven people, it freaks it out a lot of times. Especially when we have a deadline, like 11.59. You guys, I'm typing it all in. And it'll get unresponsive. And you'll be like trying to type something and it won't be showing up. And you're like, what? And you like type and then delete and type again and delete and type. You're like, what, what? And all of a sudden, like after like 30 seconds, it all of a sudden, delete, type, delete, type. And it'll like, you know, put all the stuff in there and overwrite stuff. So again, make a local copy, enter your stuff there, and then you can just, you know, copy, from that, you know, you know, select the cells, hit copy, and then jump over into this one and you know, let, locate the cursor in the right place and hit paste and then you're all good. Okay, so let me explain what this is. So this is our communal data sheet. So the first couple lines here are just an example to, to show you guys, to, if, if you're curious, right? After, after today or after a day or so, there'll be enough examples in there that it'll make sense, but, but just to um, give you something to go with. So everybody's name is here, right? Everybody's name is here. And, and so the first one, you can just go down to your first name and start entering your first one. So each survey is one row here, okay? So let's look at our example. And, and then and this, is, and this first little bit here up to M, this is the stuff that you're gonna put in for, for your specific situation. But after, after M, it's all gonna be consistent, right? Um, and so, so I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna put the date that I did the survey on. And then it looks weird, it's like two years, it has to do with how the database is structured, so I know, but just type it in twice, that's fine. Uh, and then the time, the approximate time you did the survey, it doesn't matter exactly, but just roughly, we wanna know, was this done at like after work, or was this done you know, at seven in the morning, or whatever. And then the location, right? Uh, you can put an address in if you want to, you don't need to, you can just say, you know, at the Starbucks in downtown Ventura, or something like that, right? This, this is just so we can keep track of this. <clears throat> and then the city that was in and the county, and then all the stuff are face to face. We're not doing any more online because we're out of the pandemic, but nevertheless, we have a thing to just identify that. Okay, and then we get into the real stuff. So uh, this is gonna proceed from your survey. As you go down the page, you're gonna go to the right on the column. And let me explain how this goes. Every question or, or every, everything has a first box that says answered. So mostly what, what folks have done is they've put a check mark or an X or circled or whatever, right? And so for logistics, when someone puts an X or indicates that's, that's his or her choice, we just type the number one, right? So one is equivalent of a check and that'll, that'll become apparent very quickly. That then we can just sum up, we can just do a, a count the number of ones and it'll count how many people answer that question. Um, because some people might be confused they're, they're whatever, they might skip some questions. Every single question, you have to first tell me if it was answered or not, right? And so that's what this is. So this first one just says, did someone write anything in there? And if they did, then I put a one in. And then in this case, this is one of our uh, open-ended questions. Can you guys see this? Should I make this bigger? 
Um, uh, so in this case, they said home. So I'm gonna I'm gonna indicate that this uh, this person's uh, that question number one was answered, and their answer was home. Okay. Then you might see some gray columns. Just leave those blank for now. We'll we'll deal with that when we get to the analysis. But there's some of these things need to be coded. So someone might say home or my home, right? For right now, you just write whatever they put in there, okay? But we'll probably turn home and my home into the same answer, home. And so some of these things what we need to do is a bit of you know, tweaking of the data. Again, you just ignore, just skip over the gray columns for now. Okay, same thing on this question, number two. D d what do you think about the code? Same things. This person said it was fun. This person, you know, da 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 da. Okay, cool. Uh, the one exception here is if they said, um, uh, beach, B-E-E-C-H, I would just type in B-E-A-C-H, right? Because that's just another, another thing that'll be a little bit harder um, to do. So if, if it's a clear, obvious misspelling, go ahead and put what it was probably likely to be. Otherwise, if you're not sure, go ahead and type down exactly verbatim whatever they, whatever they wrote. Okay. Uh, the first thing, uh, next thing to say is, so this is question one, question two, question four, I realized when I was made this data sheet that I screwed up the numbering. So I'll, I'll be updating that on future versions of the poll. But, but for now, I just sort of kept it the way it said on, on your version. Um, but as we go forward, maybe the version you're doing, the plastic question is Q4 right now, and maybe a week from now, the version is Q3. Just, you know, you guys get it. You just enter it in that, in that spot. So I apologize for that error. That was my fault. Okay, so this one is one that says, so this, is, this one is a little bit weird. So this one, you're going to have to code your answer. And so this, this, that's why it's colored blue, okay? So this one, so they said, hey, uh, how was your plastic use in the early pandemic versus before the pandemic, right? So if they answer that, I put a one. And then um, this one up here, if, 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 it, if it does, if it's one of these code things, if you look to the top, that's the, that's the legend, right? So that's what you do. So if they said much more, I'm going to type the number three. If they said more, I'm going to type the number one. If they said no change, it'd be zero, et cetera. And then if they said, I don't know, I'm going to type in three nines. Okay, this is just sort of standard database stuff. Um, so this is a little bit weird, so, but, but I've made it blue to indicate that this is not just a, a, a one or a zero, okay? And then, and these other ones, so this is more, a more typical one here, which is, hey, did, um, uh, did, uh, d did you think it was made sense to do that or whatever? And this person was unsure, so they ticked unsure. So again, I'm going to put a one in here because they answered it. And then they didn't pick yes, they didn't pick neutral, they didn't pick no, they picked unsure, so that's why I put the one there. Um, and then so on and so forth. Um, here's our first example, and then here's another one right over here, where they didn't put an answer, okay? So, so person one answered it, two, three, but my fourth survey person left it blank, right? So I don't know, you and I don't know if that meant they ate zero ounces of seafood or they weren't sure how to answer it, right? I can't distinguish between the two. So that's why I put a zero in here. If they said none, you know, N-O-N-E, or they wrote a zero, then I would, I would type this as a, as a one and put a zero there, right? But in this case, they didn't do that. So that's gonna tell me, hey, so, so, so you know, we're gonna do a bunch of surveys and we're gonna have done a cer certain number of surveys, but each question, the actual number of respondents is gonna be slightly different because of this, because somebody, somebody will skip a question or whatever, and this helps us track that, okay? Um, and then, uh, and as I mentioned, uh, uh, there are some, that we, we do have some of these questions that are not real, and those, those guys that are indicated red here, you don't, I mean, just so you know, um, the, these two, ninth hour, et cetera, are the ones that aren't a real option. And so, so in this case, this person actually picked that one. So that's gonna help, that's gonna help us estimate the error, right? And so, that'll, so, so by adding up all these, that'll tell, and look at the percentage, that'll tell us some measure of the, because we know that's not, it's not possible that, they, that that was the right answer. So that, that helps us understand that. Um, and then, uh, and then so on and so forth, uh, all the way across. Then the, and then you just answer those. And then at the very end, then at the very end, there's a comments. 
So if there's anything that will help future people 10 years from now looking back on this, um, you know, you don't have to put a comment in, but if there's something that you observed, if the guy's like, ha, 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 I'm gonna screw him, you know, or somebody's like doing something like that, like you think, oh man, this person wasn't being serious or something like that, you can go ahead and put uh, that comment in. So not required, but you always have a space to enter some, um, you know, uh, uh, it was a mom with her kid and she answered the first, you know, two pages really well, and then her kid started tugging her and she like went away, right? So something like that. So anything like that will help. Uh, that's your call. So, so if, if it seems relevant, sure. But if it's just like, I don't agree with this question. Or yeah, that's, that's sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't don't stress about that. But but you know, if they said that a lot, I would probably just make a comment that you know they were they seem to not <laughs> like the survey or or whatever the thing is, right? Again, this is so think about this as someone you know the Park Service a decade from now wanting to look back and see what the trends are. And, and if you have some, something like that, maybe that person is gonna be responding in a strange way or something. And so that will help us if we're, if we're kind of doing a, a cleaning of the data, like, well, maybe we should leave people that thought the survey was a political stunt or something. Maybe we should leave those folks out of it or, or, or include them, but, but that gives us a, that helps us make sense of it. Whereas if we don't have that, and we just have some folks that are very different responses to everybody else, um, it could be real, it could be that with them screwing with us or, or whatever. Cool? Okay, so let's take a few minutes. Why don't you guys pull out your survey and, uh, and first make a, a local copy of this and then practice entering it and then, and then see if there's an error I made in the data sheet and need to clean something up or if you have questions. <laughs> 